feeling real bougie right now. ladies and gentlemen today's date is Monday June 28th and right now the local time in Brighton Colorado is 11 12 a.m. you guys probably can't see my time but guys uh I have a trip today so at 7 58 a.m. crew scheduling calls me because as of today I am good for three days okay they call me with a trip and it's basically a turn, but so many layers to this trip. So number one, guys. All right, so it looks like I will be deadheading on United to Phoenix. So remember, deadheading is when the company provides transportation to a destination for you to end or start a trip. So in my case, I will be starting a trip. So deadhead to Phoenix. Then I have a three hour and six minute ground time so I tell you guys all the time ground time is a freestyle so for three hours I'm doing nothing all right um, I wish I can go get my car and go get something to eat but guys that will be cutting it close so I will be at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport sitting somewhere looking ugly and then I'm gonna work the flight Phoenix to airport code SLC which is Salt Lake City and then Salt Lake back to Denver. Before this pairing, I will be a background singer. And actually looking at the pairing, um, it looks like all the crew members are very junior. So they either graduated around the same time I did or maybe a couple months earlier. So it's a very junior crew. So I'm not sure if the original crew, if they got rerouted, if something happened, or, or if this was an emergency little pairing they put together. I'm really not quite sure. But all I know is that I will be there, okay? <sighs> so these kind of trips, I mean, I get back a little bit after 10.30. I'm good for two days as of tomorrow. So I will bid for a trip. I'm very disappointed I did not get that three day that I wanted. But guys, per our contract, and I'm not saying this is what happens, but they can slow us down. If a reserve flight attendant is gonna hit overtime or going to exceed a certain amount of hours, Crew scheduling can slow that flight attendant down. So just kind of think of it like um, the whole unlimited data, okay? Yes, it is unlimited data, but if you reach a certain cap in a shorter amount of time, they will reduce it from maybe 5G to 4G to 3G. I used to work for AT&T, and that is the one thing, is if we had a customer that was using excessive amount of data, they will slow their speeds down. So that is how I'm thinking because I really wanted to end this month with a bang. I'm going to see if I can bid for a two day. Um, who knows guys, but that is what's currently going on. We are leaving here at 1140. Now my check-in time is 1240. That flight, yeah, 1240, it leaves at 140. So I'm quite nervous. I don't like deadheading or, I don't know, it's just me. When I use another airline, I don't know how they feel about my airline. I mean, full uniform. It could be a hit or a miss, and then my bags. Erica Badu made that song about bag lady. She was probably talking about me. I travel like I have a seven day trip, okay? Because I just never know what might happen. I always anticipate that if I come from a trip and I don't have to work the next day, I want to go somewhere, I'm already prepared. So that is what I always do. But we will see, guys, because right now, as it stands, I have a turn, 7.58, which is crazy. It is a beautiful day out here in a brain Colorado. The birds are chirping, the sun is out, your girl is tired, but I have a, yeah, I have a trip. So we'll see how this day goes, guys. <sighs> it is a gorgeous day out here in Brighton, Colorado, and I will be with you guys later. Now, I would do it if I'm heading down that jet bridge, but I don't know how United uh, works, you know, that is not home court advantage. I am the visiting team when I travel on another airline. So guys, I will be with you later. Stay tuned for this uh, crazy day. Okay, guys, I am on my flight with United. 
bougie, okay? I am in economy plus. First class is a couple rows up. My goodness. 737 max, I believe was what I'm on. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, okay? I am in love, guys. This is a gorgeous aircraft. My bags fit. Ah, economy plus. I would have settled for first class, but you know what? I am not even complaining. First class is right there, but this is so lit. I'm really gonna enjoy this flight. I got some snacks that I bought for the ride. Got this. And water. Gotta have water. And one more thing. So I am ready, guys, to start my dead head. Remember, three hour and six minute ground time in Phoenix. Uh, my sister's gonna meet me. We're gonna do a little wig exchange because this one is broke. Y'all see here I ripped it? Oh yes. Anyways guys, I'll be with you when I get to Phoenix. Okay guys, I am in uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor. Well, I'm in Phoenix at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. It's about 2.40 p.m. local time. See, this is Terminal 4. My airline is Terminal 3. So my crew member, she's in the back. We're gonna head to Terminal 3. I got, uh, what, about three hours here? And then I'm working a flight. So I'm gonna meet my sister. And I'll be with you later. I need to figure out how to get out of this terminal safely. Okay, guys, so I'm in Scratchy. My sister came through. Say hi, Margaret. <laughs> Okay guys, so she did give me the same wig I have on. This one is a, what color is this? Oh, that's Chick-fil-A. I don't know if it's gonna be open. It's, it's, it's gonna be that's open. Okay, let's go there. Four. Okay, let's go there. Okay. Okay, she got me cinnamon wine. So DR2 cinnamon wine. Okay, so that means it's gonna be brown hair and then go into a, a, a dirty wine or what is it? A cinnamon wine. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this wig on. This is gonna be quick. I gotta be at that gate by at least 425. 434 is when we need to check in per se so my crew knows I'm here but I'm cutting it close I don't know if it's rush hour traffic right now but it's 302 right now in Arizona so this is gonna be very quick then I need to look at the damage that's on my car whoever side swipe me but right now me and um, Margaret is gonna go get something to eat real quick because these are quick flights to Salt Lake and back to Denver they're not that long but I'm starving so let me tell you I love United as a company, as a crew and a staff. But those people, I think Tupac said it best. Was it Tupac that said yes, it? Death Row Records or, <laughs> yeah, listen. No, he didn't say Death Row Records. No, what did he, he say? Said... Bad Boy Records yeah. as a crew. Listen, okay. Again, I love United. Mask violations everywhere. My anxiety was at a thousand. There were people who took their mask off and I wanted to say something so bad. But guys, that's not my fight. I kind of gave the flight attendants, you know, eye contact. <laughs> You know what I mean? I was trying to tell them. I don't know, guys. I guess it's not my fight. So yeah, it was an hour and 23 minutes, but everyone around me had no mask. I mean, y'all don't know how bad I wanted to say something. I'm telling you. It, anyways, that's what we're doing. Right now, the temperature is, it's 110. Okay, my sister has my air on full blast. What? Okay, that gas tank is looking real half-ish. But yes, guys, that's what the plan is. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, well, let me get this wig together. I gotta cut the baby hair. I'll see how this wig be coming. Since only, I say only you and Chili from TLC has baby hair. See, Margaret still has her baby hair. You guys probably can't see, but Margaret, yeah. But see how this wig come with the baby hair? That's a no-no, guys. I'm too old for baby hair. But I'll be with you guys later. Okay, guys, so I'm in the cell phone lot with my sister. This is the damage to my car. They really did a number. So it looks like they hit it. It's not bad, it could be worse. And probably took off. Cause look, there's nothing up here. Do yeah, you see where it's no there. Yeah. My tire is intact, but this is gonna raise no my- rim. Look, No rim damage. So I did this, wait, is this what I did? No, I did this is part of it. I think you did this right here. I, okay, I did that, that damage. So they did all this? Yeah. Oh, they sure did. It's weird how, I don't know what they had on that car. Okay. But so, you think about it, like, none of this, guy. 
None of this on here. Yeah. None of this. Your light. That's why I'm saying your light didn't get impacted. Okay. Well. So I got the new wig on. I'm about to throw this old one away. It's uh four o'clock. Well, four or five. Again, we're at the cell phone lot right here at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. She's gonna drop me off in a second, but that looks real ugly. It's still drivable, but I'm upset. I can't believe someone would do that to Scratchy. Honestly. Let me see. Yeah, Margaret. What? Let me see. You don't see these fingerprints right here? Where? Like all along this filter. Yeah, I've got to probably clean it. No, but like who was on your car like that? I don't know, probably me. Come, let's go through this way. But sis, why would okay. you be in your car like that? I don't know, sis. Okay guys, I will be with you when I go down that jet bridge. It's hot out here. It's 112 now. But this new wig is feeling really real good right now, a little breezy. I can't wait. My my crew members are gonna be shocked because they were not expecting this. Me and my sister had lunch at Chick-fil-A over there by the ASU. So yeah, this has been a productive little meet and greet, but now I gotta go back to work. Okay guys, so I'm on the aircraft with the new wig. Um, right now guys, local time is about 5.15 p.m., okay? We were supposed to board and, you know, leave by 5.34. Guys, they deadheaded us on all different airlines, okay? I deadheaded with United, another crew member did with me, and another one American. The last crew member is here, so we are going to be a delay because we had to wait for her to get here, of course. So, this should be interesting, but these are short flights. So we're gonna, you know, get ready to do what we have to do, and I will see you in Salt Lake City. But I have made it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in Salt Lake City, time, 8.49 p.m. Hour and 12, we are delayed. Again, we had to wait for a crew member. So we're just trying to make up for, you know, lost time. Uh, so we are heading to Denver. So Salt Lake to Denver. It's not a full load. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll be with you uh, when we get to uh, Denver. So A320 Space Flex, guys. 186 passengers, max capacity. 31 rows of seats. Three fourths full. It's not going to be that heavy going back to Denver. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I am finally back at the crash pad. The local time right now in Brighton, Colorado, 1.26 a.m. So guys, flight time from Salt Lake City to Denver, an hour and two, halfway full on a Space Flex A320. Started off kind of rough when we were in Phoenix heading to Salt Lake City. We were delayed, but we made up for it when we arrived in Denver. We did arrive pretty much on time. So guys, that is the conclusion of my day. I saw my sister, we had lunch, I got a new wig. Yeah, everything worked out. You know, I had a good dead head on United, despite the little kinks. I mean, so I'm good for two more days of reserve, the 29th, which is today, and the 30th. I go back on call at 10, 11 a.m. Is there a possibility that they can use me? Yes. I don't want it to happen, but it may happen. So guys, right now I am um, filling out a medical report that I need to do because when something happens on the aircraft, you have 24 hours once you return back to base. So I need to be proactive with this. Um, and then I'm gonna eat. I am starving. So I got a burger and fry from this place called Old Chicago. So I know this is bad, but I have to eat. My head hurts. Um, I had a 10 hour duty day. That ground time in Phoenix really killed me, but I did use that time wisely to do the things that I wanted to do. And the crew was shocked. Came back with a whole new hairstyle, so that should tell you something. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, thank you for rocking with me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. A very spontaneous turn with multi layers, but it started with a deadhead. United, shout out to y'all. But yeah, those masks, they are getting out of hand. Now, here's my concern we start service uh, next month, okay, July 1st. No, I think they pushed it back, July 8th. How do you monitor the mask when you're serving food? How do you monitor the mask when you add alcohol to it? That is what I'm trying to figure out. But guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna do my little business and go to bed, so.